up for Tony B. San Diego, what's up, everybody? Everybody's been doing a lot of ethnic talk here, so I'll follow suit, I guess. My, uh, my name is Tony B. I'm half Persian and half Italian, but I always say Persian. I never say Iranian because your average racist has no idea that Persian means Iranian. <laughs> yeah, they're like, Persian, yeah, all right, yeah. So, from Paris, right? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> where everyone's white and non-threatening, that's where. <laughs> nah, San Diego's cool, I like it here. I was hanging out at the bars last night, my buddies, and uh, at the table next to us, there was a group of moms on their night out. And that's my favorite thing to observe when I'm out drinking, the group of mothers, just because, like, their night always starts out all confident, you know? They always start with that toast, they're like, okay, ladies, we deserve this night away from our fat husbands and annoying fucking kids, so we're gonna have a good time tonight. But then, by the end of the night, when the alcohol and guilt starts to set in, at that point, the only words you're gonna hear out of their mouths are, I am a good mother. I, mean, I am the best mom in the whole world. Just wine and ranch dressing all over us all. I love my children. It's 4 a.m. And I love how protective you guys get over one another when you go out. You know, when it's just the ladies. You know, like you always think everybody's hitting on you, even when we're clearly not. And I'm like, excuse me, I think you, I think you dropped something there. Um, excuse me, my friend is married, so why don't you fuck off? <laughs> you dropped your purse, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> Politics is crazy, like, you know, there's, there's a lot of shit going on in the political world. Like, they're, they're trying to pass laws now against transgender people from using whatever bathroom they want to use and it's supposed to like to protect our children like I think it's such horseshit they shouldn't be doing that but you know, that being said there is one law I would like to see passed to protect myself from transgenders <laughs> and the law would simply state that if I'm drunk you need to tell me you're transgender <laughs> I don't need any mishaps like what happened a couple of years back. <laughs> My buddy was like, dude, you know that was a guy you brought home last night, right? And I was like, what? No, it was a beautiful woman. We, we went back to my place, we made love. She ejaculated all over my chest. It was a beautiful woman. <laughs> I don't know. I'm 35 years old. I still like to go out drinking, you know, I like to go have a good time. But uh, my definition of fun has changed over the years, you know? Because it used to be like, I'd get drunk and I'd want to go and have fun. But now I get drunk and I want to go eat. <laughs> That's it. Like, I don't want to be social. Like, my ideal night out drinking is just me alone in a room with a bottle of whiskey a bowl of gravy and a turducken, and that's all I need. <laughs> but my friends, they don't understand this concept. They don't get it. They're still like, dude, Saturday, let's go to a club. I'm like, yeah, that's a great idea. You're overweight, balding, and 43 years old. I'm sure all the 22-year-old girls can't wait till you walk through the fucking door, right? Like, ooh, there he is over there. That's my man. Just look at the sweat stains between his tits. That's the guy I want. I got dibs. I got dibs. <laughs> That's not happening. But I was in Vegas, though, a couple months ago, and we ended up going to this club on the Strip. And I didn't want to pretend like I, it was cool for me to be there, so I just I tried to be as creepy as possible. That's what I tried to do. So we get to the club, I immediately go to the bar, and I ordered like five drinks, and I was pretending like I was gonna take them to like a table full of friends, but no, they were just for me. <laughs> and I get the drinks, and I just find the darkest corner possible, and I just trolled my way over there. Just got hammered, staring at all the younger girls, having a good time. Like, I'm the guy at the club that when the women leave, they all look at each other and go, what the fuck was with that one guy? That's me. I'm that one guy. That's... Oh, man. 
Yeah, it's a weird time. I want to talk a little bit about uh, about Trump. Now, I don't care. You know, I don't want to preach to you or anything like that. If you if you if you don't like him, that's great. And if you like him, go fuck yourself. But you know, it's, I'm not here to preach to you. you know what I mean? I'm just trying to tell jokes. No, but uh, but like I think Donald Trump, the guy knows how to hold a grudge, right? Like you could say that for him. He knows how to. So I'm just hoping that like he doesn't eat any ethnic food while he's in office. Because if he has a bad experience with it, then I feel sorry for whatever country that ethnic food represents. Because he'll eat like Greek food, and the next day he'll be like, I'm calling for a ban on Greek people. Coming into this country. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime. They're bringing gyros. Or maybe it's pronounced gyro. <laughs> but either way, they better gyro the fuck out of this country. <laughs> but, uh, like, that's how I think this whole rift with Mexican people started, right? One day he's like, give me three bean burritos, a nachos pil grande, and a cheesy gordita crunch. <laughs> All, all night in the bathroom. Fuck it, I'm building a wall. 